welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update, Friday, October 23rd, 2020. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in this report, we were gonna we're gonna cover what's going on with the second stimulus check and the stimulus package. And if you suspect that the politicians are playing political games, and they're not taking, then they're not genuinely trying to pass a stimulus package, then well, before the elections, basically, then you're basically not the only ones. Because even some of the politicians are expressing the same concerns. The Democrats say the Republicans won't support a $1.9 trillion package, but the Republicans are saying that they will actually support that exact package. Senator Bernie Sanders <clears throat> excuse me, says that they will pass a huge stimulus package if they take control of the Senate after the elections. And COVID-19 is on the rise in Illinois, Montana, Ohio, Oklahoma, and the state I live in, which is Utah. 27 states are reporting rises on infections. Many people are accusing the Democrat leaders and the Republican leaders of for not sincerely trying to pass a stimulus package before the elections. Even the politicians are expressing these concerns. Congressman Jim Butte, uh, Butte's direct quote was, it's a pretend show to make it look like certain leaders are coming to an agreement, but it's all always for show. The Democrats want $2.2 trillion and the Republicans don't want to spend over $1.9 trillion. So I guess the Republicans have reached their cap. Hmm. Let's, see what, let's see what happens. Will they still let people die or will they actually decide to cave and realize that they can actually pass 1.9 and then if there's more money needed pass a second stimulus package later of course okay the democrats can the democrats can pass a 1.9 trillion dollar package if the money is needed well they can actually provide just said they can actually pass the 1.9 and they can pass a different one this is actually direct what basically steve mnuchin treasury secretary actually said as well Let's see here. This stimulus package being worked on would be the fifth stimulus package. The Pope, the Republicans still to vote, still actually continue voting on those small bills, those, those uh, standalone bills as they call them, like that five hundred billion dollar one that was another skinny bill. <laughs> and even though they know that they're not going to receive enough votes to pass, so sounds like the Republicans are having a lot of fun there. Therefore, if you think the politicians in charge of the, of the stimulus package negotiations are not being genuine in their efforts, then you're not the only ones. Nancy Pelosi responded to this by saying, if these talks don't have a purpose and if they don't, if they were not making progress, I would not spend five minutes in these conversations. Many, peop many people say these politicians are not negotiating in good faith. And that the purpose is to look good and make others, the other parties look bad, basically. So basically, Republicans make Democrats look bad, Democrats make, you know, vice versa. So we'll see who wins that party, Republican or Democrat. Okay. And, but they want to make them look bad for the elections, basically. Pelosi said that the big difference in the negotiations are basically still state and local government funding. Uh, money for schools and liability protection. They have a big problem with that liability protection, don't they? They just want that gone because that just gives it for businesses. So, if you were walking out there and you accidentally gave someone COVID, if you had it, they could sue you. So, liability protection, I still keep saying this. If they're going to give it to anyone, give it to everyone. Or give it to no one. I mean, you got to make a, 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 you know, battleground fair. You can't give one guy a, uh, a pistol with a bullet and the other guy a machine gun. It doesn't really work that well, does it? Well, it depends on the side you're on, too. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Had to go off on that one. And uh, let's see here. Pelosi also issued a warning saying, even if they come to an agreement, it will still take a while to write the bill up. So in other words, they're saying that 
if, if they came to an agreement tomorrow, it still might take a week, maybe two, for them to actually get the bill all written up in the proper language so it goes to where the money goes where it needs to go to before they can actually throw it to the Senate. And hopefully the Senate will just jump on it and pass it. And then after that, it goes on to the president, whoever that may be. So we, we shall see what happens. Hopefully something happens really soon because I do have some viewers out there that are in desperate need of help and I know a Simmons package will help them out greatly. Uh, let's see here, I just lost my place too. Democrats in the, Senate, in the Senate say that Republicans in the Senate won't even vote on a bigger stimulus package. However, Republican Senator Marco Rubio responded by saying no one is going to get everything they want in the bill is prop is sorry is probably going to be higher than he'd like it. But keep that page, that's where Marcos's quote is. He is he he may be very uncomfortable with his bill, but however, he says he thinks that the price is not going to be something is something that he's gonna like that's gonna be even higher. And in the end that he thinks that we that we run a risk of structural damage to the components of our economy. If we do not do something, I am willing to vote for a thing some, for things that he's not that he does not in favor to get things that are essential for and important for our country. So Senator Marco Rubio's may not like a higher stimulus package because he doesn't like the one point nine as is. But he says that he's willing to vote for it to get what's important for the economy, which would be for the unemployment and the stimulus checks and the, the renter protection, mortgage protection. Eh, people shouldn't get charged with student loans this year anyways. But, you know, we're going with that. Um, <clears throat> in political news, Senator Bernie Sanders says that if with if they win control of the Senate after the elections, that they will pass a huge stimulus package to protect the desperate working people throughout our country. And in the United States, COVID nineteen cases are on the rise. In two dozen states, there are a total of seventy one thousand sorry, the the rise is going up in about a little, a little over two dozen states. <laughs> And basically, the total number of new cases as of Thursday is 71,674, where our death has gone up to 856 as of yesterday. And this is my, my stimulus package for my people. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a, a, subscriber, a subscriber already, please hit the uh, subscribe button. And if you want to hear my squawk at you more, please hit the notifications so you can get them every day. Until then, you guys try to have a great day. Well, try to say a great evening, since it is evening time now. And try to stay safe. Remember, we're all in this together. Bye.